how to do kettlebell clean correctly. I'm going to show you some variations to the kettlebell clean, what is very important exercise if you train with kettlebell. And if actually, if you want to press or you want to do squats with single or double kettlebells, very important how you pick it up to the rack position to get your stability without hurting your arm. I'm Attila Varga, Strong First Kettlebell Instructor, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Black Belt, and Muay Thai Boxing Instructor. Please join to me, have a look. If you train with kettlebell, sooner or later you want to pick the kettlebell up to the right position where you can press or you can squat. And uh, what is very important, the press or a squat uh, it can't be better done than the clean before. So the clean is a very essential to get it safely and get good stability. The first going to be the cheating curl is the number one uh, kettlebell clean for beginners. Not just for beginners, so even if you are advanced and uh, you want to do it very heavy, the cheating curl is a great option. I'm showing to you now. The handle looks this way, and I'm gonna grab with the hand, which hand with I wanna work with, the other hand goes underneath. I grab behind me, and I'm gonna use the hips as a leverage. Pick it up to the rack. And from here, I grab my hand, and I settle down. And the other side, same. I grab my hand, I grab the hand underneath, I swing behind me, I use the hips, pick it up to the rack. I grab my hand, I settle down. So one more, very important, I use my hips, not the arm. The hips giving me the leverage. So I drag behind me and it's bouncing up high. I'm not swinging forward now and the wrist is straight. If I'm confident enough and I don't want to use the support hand, I just swing behind me and settle down. You can. Behind me. Up to the rack. Wrist is straight. I don't want to use the support hand now. I just swing behind me and settle down. What I don't want is this so it is a wrong one this is how i'm not doing swing behind you too much hips and like a bad clean and press and you separate your arm from your ribs arc no upper arm always on the ribs arc and i'm going back it's a cheating curl well it's actually not cheating it's a beginner variation for the kettlebell clean. And swing behind you and settle down. But not just like a beginner variation of the clean. For example, if uh, you want to do with the heavy. For example, you want to do with the beast, the 48. Not definitely you want to do uh, before your press or before anything. You don't want to burn your energy maybe with the clean because not so, not that's the main drill. So you grab the hand, shoulders evenly. So even if you're higher level, the, the kettlebell cheating curl is a brilliant variation to pick it up safely. Behind you, up to the rack and hold body tight. And just swing back and settle down. But, for example, if I'm doing heavy and after I'm going to the light and the, my nervous system still on the heavier one and I feel I have more resistance, but I don't have, this is what's gonna be happen. You don't need. So you concentrate the weight always to the hips, independently from the weight, even if it's light. I wanna concentrate down deep and behind me. Set it down. Nice and dead clean. It's just like a deadlift. The kettlebell between the ankles, shoulders evenly. I don't want to drop the shoulder, so this is wrong. You can see it's not evenly. I don't have stability. I hinge the hips back. Even I can touch the bell with two hands, and the other hand goes to the side. And I push my feet through on the ground. I pick it up to the rack. You can put it down safely. Uh, the reason I don't like uh, straightly put it down like that, I feel uh, it's not the best to the back, for example. So if I pick it up like that, swing behind me and set it down, especially if you do it heavier. So the cheating curl you can use for any weight, 
But in that clean width, you have to be careful because if you do heavy and if you want to smash the ground like this, you don't have control all way long on the movement. So, but if I do the swing behind me, I have control really, really well. So let's see from here. Let's see from here. So I have a clean shoulder seam. I don't drop the shoulder. from here or I place the kettlebell back behind me or I step forward of course when it's light I can put it down the same way uh, but when it's getting heavier definitely not the safest the safest and the most advanced is a loaded clean, what is coming from the uh, single arm swing. The swing and the clean is actually the same, just the destination is different. So this is where the swing is finishing. Let's see some single arm swing. So I touch the hand with two, well, with two hand, not working hand behind me. And I have a couple of swing. So what happens now? My upper arm leaves the ribs arc and the kettlebell coming up approximately my shoulder chest level but when i do the swing and the clean together typical problem some people want to pull from here that makes it wrong uh, you don't have the momentum you don't have the stability so i'm not separating the movement like uh, it's coming up and pull towards me my upper arm never going to leave the ribs arc like with the swing did with the swing it does but with the clean i pull my upper arm back to my ribs arc and hand sneaks to the handle. So let's see, one swing, one clean. And I just drop the same way how I did before. So I have a swing, goes behind me, and from the furthest point from there, like I wanna pull up one, and two is finishing in the rack. What is very important at the end of the clean wrist is always straight I don't bend the wrist any direction to and I put it on safely what happens if uh, I have again a single arm swing and I do a bit late this happens when you flip the bell over from here so this is what you don't want again this is something what is wrong you can hurt your arm even with the light kettlebell you want to land the bell on the rack nice and softly you don't want to feel any pain so even if you do it the heavy you have to feel it's, it's, it's there nice and softly but at the end you have a good uh, tension get good stability so let's see again one swing one clean swing clean okay Let's see now more swing. So I don't, I'm not going for the clean anymore. So I have, uh, I don't have the swing. I have one clean behind me. And the same way I pull up around back on the rib arc and I have the clean. So this is the so this is a loaded clean. Very important. You don't want to flip too high. Don't want to hurt the arm. Let's have a look what happens if I'm doing with the heavy. I have the beast again, and uh, let's test it. Everything the same. I have to do much more hips movement because it's it's actually a double of that weight. You need a strong solid stance. 
you grab the hand. I grab, I just touch it with the other hand, the handle, because I want to avoid this, especially now, it's heavy. So this is a loaded clean. Very important. I try to do the same way with the light and the heavy. You don't want to hurt your arm. Uh, after, if I'm going back to the light, my nervous system says, oh, it was heavy, it was heavy before. So maybe you're gonna do it much more hips movement, you're gonna flip over. So you have to concentrate the weight more to the hips. And to the end, if uh, one kettlebell is fun, two kettlebell or double fun. So uh, what is the difference between a single and a double hand clean? Single hand clean is a bit more asymmetric, it's a bit more details like double and it's a bit more difficult maybe to understand and experience at the beginning. So when I have a single, I have a little asymmetric movement to one of my side, the working side. You can pull my elbow back on the rib arc, hand sneaks to the handle, I keep, and I keep a, a good stability at the end. With, with doubles or symmetric. So what I have is I work with double. I don't want to hold the brass handle like this. Slight V shape in because it's too wide, especially if someone has shorter legs. Yeah, you don't have space enough. So I have long legs, but still I don't feel comfortable with the handles this way. I, I don't have space enough. So I have a light V shape, but I have to be careful because when I swing behind me, I don't want to get the shoulder off the socket. So I do nice and light, easy, and boof, arms comes up and my hands are sneaking to the handle. Notice the breathing. Yeah, one, inhale, exhale. And when I breathe out, both sides, the kettlebells are landing on my rack. So one, yeah, inhale, exhale. So it was the kettlebell clean for today. Hope so you enjoyed it. You found it useful uh, for the beginners and advanced level. I would say beginners, but actually the cheating curl is for all level. If I do it heavy, uh, I prefer sometimes that I don't want to burn my strength with the clean sometimes before the press or squat. It depends on my goals actually. Hope so you enjoyed that. If you did, please leave some comment below. Don't forget subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you very much see you next time